My name is Tom. In this video, I will show you how to solve a common exercise from physics. And it goes something like this. You have a guy, and a guy walks. Okay, so the first step is set up a coordinate system. You can place it anywhere you like. It's arbitrary in the sense that you decide how you draw the lines, where you intersect them. So for the sake of neatness, I will do everything more or less in the middle of the page. So, of course, the meeting point is known as the origin because that is where we begin counting. Here we are. So you've got a guy over here. And he's going to walk. And he's going to walk for about 15 meters, which I will represent in the picture as about 15 centimeters. Okay, so imagine that there's a ratio of 1 meter to 1 centimeter. Okay, or a rate in that case, but all right, no big deal. Let's draw it. So 15 centimeters straight down in this direction, the guy walks. So he takes a little stroll, and he stops over here. And we, what we want to know is the x and y components of the displacement. So what are the steps that we can take to solve this? Well, <clears throat> and we are told that relative to the positive x-axis, the angle he makes is about 225 degrees. Okay, so this big angle is about 225 degrees. Okay, so it's not an arch over the guy. It's just in our mental model here. Okay. <clears throat> so first let's draw a picture of the x component. The x component lies along the x-axis. Roughly it looks like this. Okay, so it stops about here. So let's trace it. This is our x component. There we are. And then the y component, of course, follows straight down. So you turn here and you come straight down. There we are. Once this is in place, you get the basic setup. And now you get to bring in trig. And in what form? Well, 225 degrees is not convenient. So what would be an easy reference angle? The way to do it is take from this big angle of 225 degrees, take away the 180. What remains is the angle I am about to highlight here. This is the angle that remains. Okay, this is the angle that remains, that angle right there. What is that angle? Well, if the whole thing is 225 and I subtract 180, what remains is about, not about, but exactly, 225 minus 180 gives a balance of 45 degrees. So you will take this as our angle here of 45 degrees. This will be our reference angle. Now we cannot just use it blindly. We've got to know that because we are in the third quadrant here, the cosine function there will have negative values, and the sine function also has negative values. Okay. So let's actually find the x component, and the calculation is this. You're right. The x component equals the length of the displacement here, which remember is 15 meters. So it's 15 times the cosine of the angle, but we're taking 45 for the sake of ease. So now we have 15 and the cosine of 45 is of course the root of 2 over 2, but we have to keep in mind that it's got to be negative because we're in this quadrant, so make it negative like this, okay? There you go. So this gives a value here of 
take a look. Let me clear that, and then we have 45 cosine is that, and then you multiply that by 15, and it gives about 10.6 negative. Okay, so roughly negative 10.6 meters is our displacement in the x direction. Now in the y direction, something similar holds, in fact, and all we are doing is using the sine function. So we have y equals negative 15 sine of 45 degrees. So this comes out to be again negative 15 times the root of 2 over 2, which is again about negative 10.6. M, negative 10.6 meters. So the point of this is for us to know the following. The blue guy in the picture has the option of either walking from the origin down to this point along the straight line, or instead he can walk along the X component, turn here 90 degrees, and walk straight down this way, and still reach the same point. Of course, along this path, he travels less, and if he takes this indirect route, that takes a greater distance, right? It covers a greater distance. And here, because this picture is drawn fairly well to scale, a ruler should confirm these values about it. Okay? So we should have about, you know, roughly, yeah, 11, and about another, yeah. 10. Okay, so these are very rough approximations, but the picture confirms that these numbers are physically sensible. Remember, if it's physics, you've got to be sure that the numbers you obtain are physically sensible and not completely ridiculous. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching.